won a lot of those that you've been in that first group the whole time. Does that give you a certain amount of confidence? Um, a little bit, but I know that everybody else is uh, just pushing each other. So at the end of the day, it's just to make everybody else better. Where are you mostly working at right now? At a corner. Have you seen any nickel, or is it mostly just outside? This is mostly corner. How's that going? It's going good, going good. Uh, we got E-Man sick right now, so I'm in with the one, so it's a good opportunity to show what I got and uh, make some progress. Competitive is a secondary. You know, a lot of guys that have been here two or three years got a lot of starts. I mean, how hard is it to to work your way into to get uh, those one runs. It's real competitive, and that's what's um, making this all better. And um, you can see how the coaches changed since I've gotten here. How um, it's gotten more competitive, and guys are getting a lot better than they were from they're going from year one to year two and making a lot of strides, like me, uh, Devon, and um, other people. So, yeah. Is it, do you feel like this is one of the first times that you've really had the opportunity to kind of bust in with the ones? Like you said, it's kind of been crowded back there. Do you feel like this is your biggest opportunity since you've been here? Um, yep, and um, I just feel like i got to make the most of my opportunity and run with it and see what I can do. What are you seeing out of Stephen Griffin so far? Uh, Stephen's making a lot of progress. Um, Coach threw him in with Josh Malone in the circle of life. And, uh, he got hit. He got banged up uh, one time. He came back at him again. And I, uh, like I said, um, that competition is uh, making making him better, and he's making a lot of strides from uh, practice one to practice four. Do you think your best position's out out wide on the island or in, in the box at the nickel, maybe? Um, probably outside on the island where I've got most of my reps, so I've got more experience out there. Who's your top competition opposite Cameron out there? You think? Um, as far as corners? Yeah, just corners. Uh, between me, Cam, and um, E Man, and or Sean too. We're all competing for, uh, for those corner spots. How's Rashawn come along? I know we needed to put on a bunch of weight when he first got here, but what do you think about his progress? Rashawn's making a lot of strides. Um, he's getting better at nickels. Uh, he's uh, cutting down on his middle areas, and he's playing more physical, and that's what he needs to do to um, lock down that nickel spot. How's the competition at kick returner coming? Um, we haven't really done a lot of kick return stuff this spring, but um, I'm sure it'll pick up as, as practices go on. What's the most important for you in terms of improvement this, this spring? What are you trying to get accomplished? Where do you feel like you need to get better? I'm going to get better at my conditioning, just being able to um, stay in on drives, you know, uh, perfect my technique as usual, and just get faster and uh, get perfect my game all around. I've heard about a little bit about your speed you've shown in the, the, the ten speed drills. Have you, uh, where, where have you been in those consistently? Have you been the top guy? Uh, I've been the top guy. Uh, it's, been, uh, it's been pretty close between me, uh, E-Man, and uh, AK, and also Pig, so it's a constant battle every time we do it. Did you know going into it you'd, you'd be one of the top guys, or was that kind of surprising? I know I'd be up there, but I didn't know I'd be, I'd be number one. So it's just it's a good confidence boost, and it's just a good. What are the bragging standpoint. rights like with that competition? I mean, how much do y'all talk about that within within yourselves? Uh, we talk about it every day whenever we do it. Um, you know, everybody wants to be the fastest, so we check the charts every day to see who's first, second, and third, and who's dropping down the group. Just we talk a lot of trash in there, but it's like it's, it's all it's all. Do you have a target on your back? Uh, I think so. <laughs> But I'm not. I'm not letting them know what's down the zone soon. How different is it now without Terry Perry? Um, what did he bring to the table when he was here? He brought a lot of experience. You know, he played. He played here, so he knew like the tradition and stuff. But um, hasn't really changed. The coach is pretty much the same, and um, we're pretty much doing the same thing as far as getting coached technique wise. How helpful is it that from the recruiting process till now, it's basically been the main coaches with you: John Janzik, Billy Martinez, obviously Butch at the top. How helpful has that consistency been with that staff? That um, it's been good because um, we know we want, we know what they want as coaches, and they know what uh, our standard is as players. So it helps us grow and build relationships. So we know, like, so we can like talk on the field and communicate better uh, as coaches and players. Does the, does the team itself understand the expectations that come with you guys with 19 starters returning and? how you guys did at the end of the year, beating Vanderbilt and going to the bowl and winning that game. Do you, do you guys feel that pressure? Do you see the expectations, or you just kind of keep your head down and just keep working? Uh, we all know the standard, and we all know uh, what's expected of us. So we come out um, every day, and we just try to um, perfect our crafts and, and do what we, we need to do, what we're supposed to do. You guys do those tennis speed drills. Is that a daily thing, or is that every practice? Um, it's, it's been every, at every practice, but we haven't done it in the, these past two practices, so I'm pretty sure he'll do it next practice. We probably talked about it, just opportunities at corner with, with, I guess, whatever the manual situation is. is. Is there a lot of it there for um, you and whoever? Yeah, E-Man's sick right now, so it's an opportunity for me to go in with the ones and show what I've got. And um, I'm just going to take the opportunity and run with it and see what I can do with that. I think, I think there was a game last year, I think it was Missouri, where I think Cam had to go off for maybe a series. And, and I think Missouri was down there, and you had to go in. And, and I think you were playing 
you remember that that sequence and, and kind of what that was like in throwing the fire there? Like uh, yeah, um, coach, coach, um, coach has always told us to prepare like we're starters. And um, throughout the game, I was um, going to the huddles to get all the checks and everything. And so um, I knew whenever I got in there that I would be ready. And you know, whenever the opportunity presented itself, I was ready. You feel like you are ready now? I mean, should they're going into your third year in the program, you feel like you've. Where, yeah. you, where you want to be? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very ready. I'm just, I'm ready to show that I'm ready.